So what we're going to do now is update the firmware on your OP1. <clears throat> Simply by turning it on. And as you see here, we're on old firmware 218. So now that we know that we need to update the firmware, we're going to turn the unit off. Before we turn the unit back on, we're going to go over to teenageengineering.com. So here we are at the home page. And you're going to need to go over here to support, which is up at the top, right there. Okay, so now we're in support. It guides us where we start off, but we want to be in downloads. And as you'll see here, you got the OPZ, and then there's the OP1. And we're on firmware 237. So then go over to downloads. And it's a little hard to see here, but click to download. So go ahead and do that. And I've already done it. Of course, when you click to download, I'll just click to download. It's going to save it to my desktop. There it is right there. Plug your OP1 into the USB of your computer. Once it's plugged in, you want to hold the COM button and then start. Power it on by pulling the power button towards you. And then you'll see this menu so you're going to want to hit one. So once you see the OP1 show up as a device, then you're going to want to go over and uh, just drag the firmware that you just downloaded into the device. On the Mac, you hear a little noise. <clears throat> then we're going to come back. You can follow the directions, which will tell you to press the COM button. So you press the COM button and now it'll take that a minute. So it says please restart your OP1. We're going to restart by turning it off. It's off. Now we're going to turn it back on. And we should be in T37. And then it's time to basically just go bananas. I like the finger drummer. <laughs> 